<laughs> Our family consists of myself, Aaron, Nathaniel, who is uh, by birth, he's a second cousin of mine. We share the same grandfather. Brad is my cousin and we've been roommates for 20 years and now we're co-parenting Nathaniel together and raising him as a family. Nathaniel is not related to me through blood, but that relationship isn't important. I always tell him he's my son. He's our son in every way. He came to our family through the ministry looking for someone in our family to adopt him or provide him a forever family, forever home. He's Métis. We go to powwows and Nathaniel enjoys listening to the powwow drum. The beat of the drum, it's like a heartbeat. You just feel it in your soul. It's important to me, I guess, to go as a family and to do those kind of things together. I want to encourage more Aboriginal families. If you have someone in your extended family that is in foster care right now, whether it be a second cousin or nephew, I can't stress how important it is to choose to adopt them. Even if you're thinking you're unsure if you're because you're single, that you can't do it on your own, the ministry is all about family reunification, especially right now. They will go out of their way to support the adoption for you. I actually kind of, it makes me feel better that I was adopted by relatives. It makes me feel better that I'm part of my family. Aww. Once again. <laughs> oh, my boy. I'm glad to. <laughs> I make sure to tell Nathaniel several times a day that I love him. How lucky I am that I'm able to be his mom. It gives me a lot of joy and a sense of purpose. I have to say I really enjoy being his uncle dad. Okay, come on, my girl. Let's go. We're gonna go home now.